Hello guys, this is Sergio from SOS Factory. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to create a vector line art but uh, without using vectors. But why? Uh, when I create a really complex line art, I prefer to draw it uh, manually in, in Photoshop with my Wacom tablet and then when I'm happy with the work I convert it to vectors automatically in Illustrator. This is not so time consuming. This is fun and this is, uh, for me this is more natural. So here we go. Uh, let's open the line art. And uh, as you can see my line art is quite uh, clean and even if it's hand draw it's uh, really, really, really clean, but um, it's uh, done with bitmaps, with bitmaps, sorry. So, uh, the first thing uh, we need to do is opening image trace and uh, by using all the default uh, settings uh, you can get a quite uh, good uh, line art. So, you only need to click on, on trace. Okay, so here you can see the preview, the results of the of the trades process. So as you can see the automatic vectorization is not really read. It's okay I guess, but uh, I'm going to show you how to how to improve this. If uh, you click on expand, you already have the the vectors. Okay, this is the result of your tracing, but uh, one important thing that you need to keep in mind is that we want to ignore the white areas, because if not, Illustrator will add all the white areas, okay? And we don't want this, at least for now. So, I will go back. Perfect. So if you want that Illustrator ignore the white area, you only need to click here. Ready. So here is the line art already transparent with all the anchor points. Not bad, but we can do it even better. In this case, we gave uh, to Illustrator a black and white line art, so Illustrator get confused a little bit uh, how to separate them. So to make things easier for him, we are going to extract the line art from the white background. So I will close, then save. Okay, and now in Photoshop we open the, the same line art and to make things easier for Illustrator I'm going to extract all the white and leave only the black line art. This is really simple and you need to click on channels, you can find it here, channels click on the thumbnail of the blue channel and as you can see there is a selection but this selection is of the white area so right click and select inverse okay now you only need to create one extra layer and use the paint bucket uh, to fill the areas Okay, so now we have we have extract the black liner from the white background. So we save it. Uh, for example, liner two, and now we we get back to the Illustrator. 
Liner 2. This is important, convert layers to objects and click OK. OK, so this is the bitmaps of my line art. Now we are going to vectorize it. At the image trace, you use the uh, defaults again. You only need to click on the layers. Okay, you need to check ignore white and click uh, trace. And then expand. Okay, so here is our line art. As you can see, the results now are a lot better than in the previous conversion with the white and black uh, line art. This is almost perfect and I could use it like this. But I want to show you how to improve it even more. So the first thing we need to do is delete all the small uh, garbage like this. You can delete it one by one, taking care that uh, you don't delete the one that, uh, that matter. Okay, right now we have all the line art is clean now. So, what to do to improve the line art even more? This is really easy. As you can see, there are a lot of anchor points that make the lines not so clean. So we are going to simplify those anchor points automatically by using the command simplify that you can find that object, path, simplify. Okay, if you click on preview, you will see how the whole illustrator um, simplifies the, the anchor points. If you change the parameters, it will get more results. This is a more accurate, more closer to the original. And this is a less anchor point, but it's not so loyal to the original. So I usually put it uh, around 50% and that's it. If you click on a straight lines, it, uh, it gets uh, a little bit uh, awkward, but you can get a uh, nice effects too. So, okay, uh, click OK and see. Now, there are a lot of uh, anchor points that are gone, but uh, maybe this is too radical and we can even improve it more. So, I go back again and, by the way, I, I created an a shortcut for this command one so uh, I'm going to use it a lot of time so for me it's much uh, faster to create a shortcut okay so to improve it uh, the automatical vectorization we can do it uh, even better if we uh, select a small paths uh, that Illustrator can understand better. So instead of vectorizing the whole line art, we can select with this tool small areas that are really clear. For example, this line. Now I click uh, Ctrl 1 and ta -da! Wow, this is uh, another level, right? Okay, so this, this is what I do one by one in the whole illustration. Sometimes you will find things like this that it uh, gets a little bit messy, so you need to click it. Okay. And another problematic uh, thing is the, the corners. Usually illustrators add a, a lot of them are not too accurate. So I only take care that uh, it's sharp enough, like this, okay? This could look like a lot of work, 
but uh, believe me if you need to create a, such a complex complex illustration in vectors uh, it's, it can save a lot of time so But see how how easy is to vectorize shape like this, and this is almost automatical. It creates everything really, really, really fast, and you can even improve your your liner. See. So this is only a small video tutorial I wanted to show you to, to explain you how to use uh, how to create uh, vector illustrations but uh, without the pain of working with vectors. You can hand draw your line art with uh, your Wacom tablet and then with uh, this method you can uh, you can improve it and convert it uh, really really fast in the next video I, I will show you how to create not only the liner but uh, the colors so see you later